Whoa, you can't even get him on the screen. <laughs> hello everybody. Oh, hello everybody. I'm with my t my <laughs> my brother. I was about to say my Tommy. I'm with my brother Tommy. And today's video is a special one. Because I'm not in it. It's me. I'm not going to be in this video. Tommy is doing this video on his own. Uh, well, I'm filming it for him, but he's making pizzas. Not just pizzas. A Tommy knows pizza. <laughs> not a Domino's. Tommy knows. A Tommy knows pizza. Just Tommy knows. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm chewing chewing gum, by the way. So I'm going to be filming. He's going to be making. Tommy's pizzas are famous in this household. Because they're good. Yeah. So we're making them from absolute scratch. Yeah, the dough. To, yeah, not the ingredients. Because you what? Well, no. Yeah, anyway. Look how tan Tommy looks. Boy. Boy. Standard hell. Who thinks, who thinks Tommy should get a channel? No. <laughs> Click the poll in the corner. I can't talk in front of a camera anyway, so that's fine. Click the poll in the corner. Does, should Tommy get a channel, yes or no? Right. Yes. Say yes. Oh, yes. Right. Not you. Oh. <laughs> the subscribers. So the, the recipe is actually meant for two people, so we're doubling, we're doubling it up. So oh yeah, to get it meant for four people. We have our plain flour. Oh yes. Now I'm no presenter, so I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Get that open. We're not pussies, so we don't need a spoon. <laughs> and it should be 700 grams. That'll do. Now we want a thick bowl with two C's. So we got our thick with two C's bowl. Shove that in there, and we need some salt. Right, so teaspoon, one more. Well, let me just check that is half a teaspoon, otherwise, I messed it up. Oh, it is. Shake that up a little. We need two chasse, chasse, uh, sachets of yeast. Um, here they are. Oh, I can give you some little tips and tricks when it comes to cooking it as well because. If you've ever made pieces before, you know they stick to the, to the tray. So I've got a few tips for that, which we've learned, or we, me and my mum have learned over the years. Because Tommy's made about a million pizzas. Yeah, because they're good. Yeast is, what is it, a fungus or a bacteria? Is it a fungus? It's a fungus. Yeah. It's a fungus. And two. And now we need 500 millilitres of, I know this off by heart, by the way. Of water. So, a lukewarm water, it's key. It's key. Oh, 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 because otherwise George wouldn't eat it. No, I wouldn't. Also, uh, mate, if you want to make pizzas yourself, I recommend using plain flour because if you use wholemeal, um, it's, when it comes to kneading it, it cracks. And when it <laughs> comes to like putting on the tray, it can stick even more and it's just a bit more of a pain to deal with. But using plain flour, it all seems to go smoothly. Yeah, yeah. so plain flour gives white bread and wholemeal flour gives brown bread. Let's see if I've do done this right. Oh, mate, is it going to be a good day if it stays in that hole? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, it's staying in. Look at that. Do you want to hear that? We found a man. Hey. It's too warm out here. Tommy's about to add some oil. How much oil, Tommy? Um, it is four tablespoons. So we're going to use a fat with a fat with a pH uh, oh. spoon. So actually, this is the tablespoon. I hope. Two. Three. Or, cause I'm hard. And now we are coming to. I think this is the part where we uh, roll up into a ball. If the dozer, because I've doubled up the recipe, what I've found is if you add actually 500 milliliters of water, it's too sticky. So you're gonna <clears throat> end up having um, a very sticky dough. And I don't know if Georgie can be asked, but. Um, in the, in the description, she might be able to put the uh, recipe down. I don't know. I'll leave the recipe, or actually, I'll leave the ingredients. Yeah, leave the ingredients. In the description. See, it's a bit sticky. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Some flour, because we're going to be adding a good 50 grams of flour more, probably. Tossing around. 
Yeah, this is a very sticky dough, no problem. You can always add flour, can't be Georgie. Oh. Whoa! Hang on, no. It's all good, it's all good, go good, good. Five second rule, apparently. Keeps you healthy, and your immune system needs some work anyway. It's all good. A spoon, there's a knife right there. And this, um, the actual making of the dough doesn't take long. It's the cooking and pr uh, proving which takes a while. It's, you have to leave it for an hour and then you have to come back to it just to knead it for 10 minutes, in fact. <laughs> that was so close, did you see that? Bread nearly hit you. For now. What, on it? Yep, yeah, straight on it. Ooh. That's it, beat one. And patience is key with this step because it can often seem a bit debilitating when you get a wet dough but you've got to stick with it and hope that it works out and I guarantee you this will work out because I've done it many times so. Oh, that's doing this again Oh, there he goes So, as just a quick update this, you see how this dough has just come together look, patience, and it's only been, a, what, a minute since I last so I'm doing it and it was flipping annoying me, I'm not going to lie. <coughs> but anyway, it's coming together now. And also, a quick quick recommendation, you don't have to do it, but a top tip is uh, when you're making your pizzas, I would recommend if you could buy semolina, because when it comes to putting it on the pizza stone, that stuff basically stops it from sticking. And yes, I did ask for pizza stone for my birthday, which is partly the reason why these things come out so well, I'm not going to lie. We'll show you them in a bit. Yeah, we have two very very useful and if you're if you're interested in making anything like this i highly recommend them but they are i don't know they're, i think they're quite expensive aren't they but anyway i asked them for my birthday <laughs> how long do you need it for well you need to need this for about 10 minutes but i think depending on whether how much how wet it is you need to increase the time and like this step here if you use wholemeal flour it would be a little bit harder because it'd be cracking everywhere um yeah I mean, usually when I'm doing this, I make this into a phallic object. What the hell's that? Phallic object? Yeah. You know what a phallic object is? No. What do you think it is? A penis. Yeah. <laughs> I learn something new every day. Oh. This is the, uh, the pizza dough. kneaded dough, and this is ready to go into the bowl. We're going to grease it slightly um, so we can put it in so it doesn't stick. We're going to put some cling film over it and leave it in a warm area uh, to proof for an hour. And then we'll probably see you back in an hour. Yeah. I'll show you it proving in a second. And in the meantime, me and Georgia will be chopping up the vegetables for the toppings. And, uh, yes. Nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll be chopping them up so you'll see them being chopped. Oh, here comes Dean as the penis. Keep the PG. Hi, Dean. Hello. Whoa. And we're just going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. Just a tiny bit and a small bit. And then we whacked it off and uh, <laughs> ground that up <laughs> just uh, <laughs> Just <laughs> There we go. Do and you put cling film on? Oh god. Yes we do. We need some cling film. How long are you leaving this to prove for, Tommy? Uh, it should be left to prove for about an hour. I mean, like, it's like 28 and degrees it's warm. out there. So. Yeah. so it's pretty mad, really. And w I guarantee this whole thing, will, this whole bowl will be filled. It's like a magic trick. We'll see you in right. a minute, then. Bye. Uh, see ya. Just it. Go oh. That's nice. That's perfect. Just in the sun. So, we'll see you in an hour, boys and girls. Hi, this is when Georgie gets involved. By the way, Georgie's me, if you didn't know. Um, yes. And I'm going to be chopping vegetables on this chopping board right here, helping out Tommy. So technically, this is a Tommy Georgie nose. A Tommy Georgie nose. A Georgie Tommy nose. No, a Tommy no, Georgie just a Tommy nose. nose. It's just a Tommy nose. Cause With I'm a hint of George. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> right, so I'm going to start off by chopping up some shrooms these are legal closed cupped shrooms and they went oh my jesus 
They went out of date about a week, two weeks ago. Let's see how they look. I think I'll leave it. You can leave it. Ooh. And you could do maybe some uh, pepper or something. Sure. I'm going to be chopping up these peppers and I've just put this into a, the sweet corn into a pot. Yeah. And um, making it look all nice and neat like a proper cooking show. So, yeah. We are a proper cooking show. We could make this into a series. Yeah. Tommy cooks on my channel. Cooking with Tommy. Yeah. You can make a calzone next time. Oh, boys. Uh, is it recording still? This is supposed to be mozzarella. No, it is actually mozzarella, but you just get rid of the juices. But you do sit the mozzarella in the juices because that keeps it fresh. You still recording? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but um, the time, well, from start to finish, so from actually making the dough to serving your pizza up, I'd say it takes about an hour and a half, depending. And that's including right. the proof time. So it's probably about half an hour of actually making the damn stuff. So it's not bad, in my opinion. So not going to take up all your night all your afternoon and, and i just want to make sure I, i'm not claiming to be a chef or anything like that i just this is i've been making pizzas for a while and this is what i've learned from doing it each time because believe me the first time i started making pizzas they went wrong every time they just kept sticking to the tray you know the dough was wet i just got annoyed with it and think yeah mm. anyway we got there eventually practice makes perfect it, it does it does oh, oh, oh. are you actually <laughs> Hang on, we had a spillage of the water. I bet Dylan's going to watch this video. Shout out to Dylan, uh, I won't say his full name just Make in case. sure he watches it. Shout out to Dylan, my cousin. Yeah. Dylan, if you're watching, make sure you dye your hair blue. Mm -hmm. Just for no reason at all, just dye it blue. Yeah, it's a summer holidays now, school ain't gonna... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come to our house and we'll dye it for yes, you. He's coming to our house, yeah. Remember the camping trip. Share the video with your friends. I want this video to go viral, right? Because my yeah. pizzas are going to be famous worldwide. Right, we're doing a, the dreaded uh, onion now, and I would recommend using red onion because it just, in my opinion, tastes nicer. But you know, we don't have any, so that's good. So, yeah. Uh. And I may cry on camera. Oh yes, <gasps> my brother cries on camera. Featuring Jake Paul gone wrong, you know, get them titles. Oh yeah, it, it, yeah. Tommy cried, my brother cried on camera featuring Jake Paul for gone wrong. For 24 hours slash 10 minutes reference to that YouTuber, whatever his oh, name yeah, is. Oh yeah, I don't think anyone knows. Uh, does anybody watch Kami? His channel's called Touch the Light. He's ridiculous. Like his videos are just awful. And if you don't know, you have to peel the onion. <laughs> just, <laughs> just in case some of you don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is our ingredients and toppings. So I'll just go through them quickly. We have mozzarella, yeah, we have mozzarella cheese, we have shredded cheese, we have uh, white onions, we have some passata, which is going to be our basically our tomato base. Um, we have some mozzarella, that's the finishing touch. We have some mild pepperoni, uh, red and green peppers, um, olives for Georgie, Thank sweet you. corn, and basil. Yes. Tommy's outside playing like basketball or something. But look how much that's risen. That's Whoa. Gonna, it's gonna blow. Woo. Wow, that's solid. No, that is awesome. That's solid. Don't, don't rip it. I want Tommy to see it. Let's see what's happening outside. <laughs> yeah, camera. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. One point. One. How is that a point? Oh. Whoa. I have one sock on and one sock off. Banter. Hi, mum. Hey. Right, Tommy. Look how massive that is. You filmed me. Oh, I told you. What did I look at that? They've seen Wait, it. Have you seen this more? They've seen I, it. Of course, I've seen it. Nearly had my eye out. I was, yeah. Right, what do we do now, Tommy? Whoa. Uh, we take it out. Is it kneading? Yeah, we need to just get rid of the air. 
Tommy's gonna poke this. Or shall I do it first? The horses just deflate. Well. I'm just gonna knock the air out of it and just give it a quick kneading for like 30 seconds. And then we cut the pizza out and roll it out, shove it in the oven, put toppings on, job done. Um, Tommy's pizza stones are in the oven. This is what they look like. He was talking about them earlier. You have to put them in the oven first to heat. How long uh, yeah. for? You have to sort of preheat it in the oven for about 20 minutes to get them up to temperature. Yeah, That's and it. then you put the dough on the peat on the stone and yeah. then in the oven. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now we're ready to cut them into four, so four people are having it. Okay, so let's get it into a nice sort of hang on. Oh yeah, this is semolina by the way, what I was mentioning earlier. It's what gives it that sort of grainy sort of touch. Yeah. So we're just gonna gently wait. Yeah, like if you go to Presso or Pizza Express the, the dough will be kinda like grainy. Need a bit more. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Nice texture. So we're just gonna put a bit more down. Sort of spread this out. That's it, job done. And now we're gonna get a knife. Cut this bad boy into four. This one can just rest over there. And uh, roll it around in semolina, just so it doesn't stick. Um, and this one stay over there and just Cut this one. So the first pizza we'll be working on will be Georgie's because Thank ladies you. first. Mm. This right here will be a fat pizza. It'll be huge. With a pH. Oh yeah. This will be a good 15 inch. You know. Right, okay. Nice Tommy, if you owned your own restaurant, how much would you charge for these pizzas? I'd probably charge about for for, for what, like a twelve inch? That's the yeah. biggest one. Nine, ten quid. Mmm. So, uh, kind of mid-range. Yeah, so, tip, top tip, if you want to get a circular looking pizza, what you don't do is you don't turn the rolling pin, you turn the dough. Plenty on here. Right, I'm about to do the job of getting oh, the thingies oh, out the other pizza stones. Put it on there. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. They're quite hot, so... Hot. Hot. Yeah, get chopping around first. Never right. know! That is freaking hot. Like, that is cooking now. Like, that is, it's crusty at the bottom already. Oh, God. Now... Hello. Dad, mind the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I One it. bread is in, but we, we, we t how long is it in the oven for? That, no, this is the interesting part. This is where tip tip comes. We put that in for five minutes, and yeah. then we'll take it out. Well, not five minutes, just a good minute. So we'll roll this out, we'll get that one out, and then we put the tomato sauce on, because that stops it from sticking to the thing. Yeah, so it just you, crustens the thingy up. If you put it in the oven first before putting the toppings on, it stops it um, the moisture from getting to the bread and it stops it from sticking yeah. to um, whatever it's on. Yeah. So basically, once I roll this out, Georgie, we'll put this one in and then we'll get yeah. yours out. And okay. Put the toppings on. Right. Yeah. Right, mine's just come out. It's been in for a few minutes. It's a good sign it's moving on the thing. Anyway, so I'm going to pop out these sort of air pockets, smooth them out. There we go. Then we're gonna pop some toppings on. And we're using passata for the topping. But you can use like pasta sauce and things like that, or even like, we, we originally used tomato puree. This is better. Yeah this is, yeah, this is better. You know, I don't like to be too shy on the sauce because it's like. Too shy, shy. And, oh, you see that hole there? We don't wanna yeah. get any sauce there because oh, no. we don't wanna get the stone wet and that's key. Because when you wash it up, you don't wanna get any like, water and things on it. Don't be shy. Okay, so now we're just going to put some peppers on. Georgine. Thank you. Red peppers to start us off. Yep, and take... The key thing to this is taking care. It's having to care for what you're doing. Yeah, not just dumping it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Gently placing them. Mm. Make it look nice and neat. <laughs> no one saw that. Five second roll. No saw that. By the way, I'm only going to show my pizza when it's done because my camera battery is low. But they all will look pretty much the same. Right, that'll do. Do you want sweet corn? Um, nah. Onions? Yeah. 
So Love onions. Four people in this, that's probably about it. Just a gentle flavouring. Yeah. I never used to like olives, but I do now. Fun fact of the day. Whoa! What are you doing? There he goes. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hey there. <laughs> how, how, how are you doing? <laughs> how, how, how are you doing? Oh, but before we, before we, we, we have to take them out just before they're done, just to put the mozzarella on. Are we, you know, if you're gonna make pizzas, you're gonna do a good job, ain't that right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Now the cheese. Oh, the cheese. Hey, yeah. You could, you could play spot the difference. What between the two cars? Yeah. <laughs> Dad's got two Volvos that are the same. Got three, three Volvos, isn't it? Two the same. Yeah, two the same colour. Right, sorry, Tommy's putting the cheese on now. So what he's going to do is he's going to put the cheese on, put it in the oven, then he'll bring it out, and then he'll put the mozzarella on a bit later on. There we go. Right, Jordy, do you want to put yours in? Yeah. And get Aubrey's out. Right, this is my pizza done. I'll put it over there in a better light. Whoa, look how blurry that is. This is the finished result. Oh. Doesn't it look yummy? You can thank me later, Georgia. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. No problem. This one's all breeze. How? What do you rate Tommy's pizzas out of ten? Because you've had them before. Ten out of ten. Yeah. And what do you rate them out of ten? Out oh, ten every time. Yeah. Can I just add a side? Same. The best pizzas are Tommy's and the ones from Tesco's. Domino's suck. Yeah. <laughs> mm, there we they go. do though, don't they? I do like their dipping chili. Right, we're ending the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I need to get a, a nice Have you got anything in that last yeah. thoughts on um, that? More, any more videos to come? Cooking videos. Sh 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 share this with pros. I want to get my pizzas out there. Mm -hmm. I want to get famous. Tommy knows. Hashtag Tommy knows. Not Domino's, copyright. Tommy knows. Tom Tommy knows. Thank you. Same as Domino's, but with a T. Yeah. Subscribe, thumbs up. See you later. Bye. Bye. Peace.